case was brought to Alan Hynek by a man named Francis Wall, who had been a private first class in Korea during the Korean War in 1951, where his company was engaged in hostilities. And they noticed an object he described as kind of like a jack-o'-lantern type maneuvering, where they were firing their ordnance, their weapons. And they got its attention, so it starts to move toward their position, and they get permission to fire on it. And they're shooting it with their M1 rifles. And he says to Hynek, you could hear the pinging sound on the craft from their bullets. It begins to hit them with this kind of ray, which burns them. They get this uh, uncomfortable tingling sensation. It's obviously affecting them neurologically. And they retreat, at which point this object, he says, just shoots up into the sky, and it, it's gone. They get evacuated out of their position a couple of days later, and a lot of these soldiers had high white blood cell counts, which is symptomatic of an infection. And then what he said to Hynek was that in the aftermath of this, a lot of them had medical discharges and were just sent home because they couldn't function anymore. I think those cases are very, very difficult to explain away, where they've obviously been irradiated with some form of energy scrambling their body. And those have happened before. And some of that has happened in connection with UFOs too. Presumably, this came to Hynek many years later to the Center for UFO Studies in uh, Evanston, Illinois, where he worked. Private Wall, he's the only person to come forward with this story, unfortunately, so there's no corroboration. According to what he said, the Army passed off the event as war-induced trauma hallucinations, that type of thing. And given the controversial nature of the subject, it's understandable that both scientists and even witnesses uh, are reluctant to come forward. This was a terrifying experience, which medically makes absolutely no sense.